Hello, welcome to GeoNo. This video is all about two ways that we use to record the direction that something or someone is traveling or facing. One of them is called azimuth and the other is called bearing or sometimes called quadrant. So specifically I'm going to introduce you to both of those types of direction systems and then I'm going to show you how to convert between one and the other. All right, very good. So we're going to start off right now converting from azimuth to quadrant. So let me just give you a little bit of information about each one and then we'll get into it. So just remember for azimuth your north is zero and you go all the way around until you come back to north at 360. So north is either 360 or zero. East is 90, south is 180, west is 270 and all the numbers in between. All you need to do with azimuth is just write a number with a degree symbol and that's it. So that's azimuth. It's, it's pretty straightforward. As far as the quadrant system, that's what you have down here. And it's divided into four parts. So you have your northwest quadrant, your northeast, southeast, and southwest quadrants. Now if you're in your northeast quadrant, the way that you write your answer is you put north, and then you say how many degrees east you traveled, so it'll be a number, and then you do east. So you're always going to have a sandwich of whatever quadrant you're in. So the north or the south, then a number is the stuff in the sandwich, and then the east or the west is the other piece of bread. So without further ado, let's get into this because I think it'll make a little bit more sense once we start diving in. So if I start off with an azimuth of 63 degrees, so first off, what quadrant will I be in? I'm going to be in the northeast quadrant, right? So if I draw a line, you can see where 63 degrees is. So I'm heading northeast. So it's going to be north, and I'm going 63 degrees east. So remember, you write it like a sandwich. North and east are the bread, and then the number is the meat or whatever is inside of your sandwich. So north, 63 east. All right, next one, 274. So what quadrant are we in? So 270 is directly west. So we went up four degrees into the northwest quadrant. So we're just barely in the northwest quadrant. So we should expect to have an answer of N, a number, and then a W on the other side. So in this case, since we start at north, we need to know how many degrees west we went. So it, I'm just drawing this red line because I've drawn the two systems together so you can see where they intersect. So if we're at 274, looks like we're at 84 or 86 degrees there so north 86 west because we went 86 degrees to the west the next one 236 degrees 236 degrees is in the southwest quadrant so let's draw a line so we see where we are so here's 236 degrees looks like we're going to be at south 56 west so we went south and we had to go 56 degrees to the west. All right, next one, 147. So this is going to be the southeast quadrant. I'm just trying to do one in each quadrant so you kind of get the picture of how to deal with these things. So 147 degrees for our azimuth. So that leaves us at south, and we go 33 degrees to the east. So that's how you convert those. And just one thing that I wanted to note is if you have something that's directly east, west, south, or north, for example, 90 degrees here, it's directly east, you just put due east or due north or due west or due south, whichever one it happens to be. All right, let's go ahead and convert the other way from quadrant to azimuth just for a little more practice. So the first one we're going to do is north 33 west. So we're going to be in the northwest quadrant. And we're going to see, let's see if we can figure it out without our line. So if we're at north and we went 33 degrees to the west, where are we? So pretty much north is 360 and then we subtract 33 degrees. So that's going to leave us at 327. 327 degrees for our azimuth. All right, for the next one, north 89 east. So I'm in the northeast quadrant. 89 degrees is just barely there before I put due east, right? And so north 89 east is just 89 degrees azimuth. And normally you put a degree symbol on these, just so you know. All right, the next one is south 43 east. So we're in the southeast quadrant. So we start south 
and we go 43 degrees to the east. So if we're at 180 and we're going backwards in our tick marks, then we need to do 180 minus 43 to get to what our number should be. So 180 minus 43, 180 minus 40 is 140, and then minus 3 more is 137. So 137 degrees. And then our last normal one that we'll do, south 56 west, so the southwest quadrant. So again, we're going to be at south, and we're going to go 56 degrees to the west. So in this case, we're at 180. We're going to add to 180 since we're increasing our numbers as we go further and further back towards north. So 180 plus 56 is 236. All right, and the last one, if we're going due west, is just 270, right? So I just wanted to point that out again. I hope this helps you. I hope this helps give you some practice. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions. And please don't forget to subscribe. That really helps me out. And let me know if you have any other videos that you would like to see.